into this guy, right? Right? Look at it. You cut into this guy and it's a little more dense, right? But as I said, same recipe. If you cut into this guy, right? See the difference? Stuff a more softer, more sticky consistency. Crazy Chef, big vibe. Today we're making a sweet potato pudding, right? I saw this lady do this recipe and I just decided I had to try it, right? So today we're making sweet potato pudding. We have our sweet potato, a little bit of cassava, and a little bit of white yam. Crazy Chef, big vibe. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the vibe. Coconut and the water in the coconut is very good and drinkable. What we're gonna do is we're gonna catch it in this uh, measuring tape. Slowly, once we crack it, a little bit. Once we crack our coconut, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take our knife and just slowly open it. So from one coconut, we get a cup of water, which is very good, right? So we'll set that aside, let it simmer a little bit, let it settle, and then that's gonna be a good refreshment for us. Our coconuts open, it's nice and pretty. So to take this out, you want to take a bread knife, right? And you just want to go right in there and take it out. Uh, if you want to see the complete way to like take the meat from a coconut, I'm going to pin a video that I did in the description box and you can check it out. So these parts, you don't have to throw them away. You can save these. If you're a person who grill or do any form of smoking, you can throw these in your smoker or in your grill. Gives it a nice flavor. But we're not gonna use these today. We're gonna set them aside. We're gonna wash our coconut. Alright, so there's two ways. There's two ways to do your coconut. You can either use a grater or you can use a blender. Best thing is the grater, right? But you can be lazy, use a blender. But the best thing to use for this recipe is this machine. Or if you have a mandolin, you can use a mandolin. But we're gonna use the grater and we're gonna just.
water right so we'll add water clean the grater and then what we're trying to do now is we're trying to extract the juice from the coconut and then we're gonna dump it in this bowl right here And then we'll just dispose of, we'll save some of this trash, but we'll throw the rest away. So save some, throw some out. And we'll set this aside. What we'll do now is we'll Peel our cassava. Oh, careful. As I said, there's two ways to do it. You can put it through a blender. You can put it, you know, you can grate it. I want to grate it because I think better buy. That's our cassava. Then we're gonna put our yam. So If you do it right, you'll get it right. Can't, can't rush the process. Good food is never fast food. So, grate the sweet potatoes. And this makes it better too, because it's like nice and fine. So it makes for a better end result. So now we want to get all our sweet potato, right? So we take a spatula and just get all of it. And then we're gonna switch it from this bowl to this bowl. A cup and three quarter of water, right? A tablespoon of nutmeg. Tablespoon of ground cinnamon. A 
some rose almond, like a tablespoon. A teaspoon of almond essence. A teaspoon of anise flavor. And a tablespoon, right? A tablespoon of vanilla and I like to use pure vanilla I don't like to use that uh, fake vanilla but if you don't have pure vanilla you can use whatever you want just my preference then we're gonna add a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. Then you wanna mix thoroughly. tablespoon of salt not a tablespoon sorry like a teaspoon of salt just to balance stuff out right we might add some more liquid in there and the only reason why we add more liquid is we're gonna add flour and you don't want it to be too thick just like we don't want it to be too thin you don't want it to be too thick We're gonna add like a cup of flour. Gonna mix it out. Put another quarter cup of flour in there. And we'll put a little bit more. And another quarter cup of water. Mix that out. And we're gonna bake this at 325. 
So we'll bake this in our grease baking tin at like 325. So we'll bake this at 325. The top will have a nice golden crust, but because it's a pudding, the bottom is gonna be more steam than big. Crazy Chef, big vibe. I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar, just because my taste buds telling me that I need more sugar. So we'll add another half a cup of brown sugar, just because my taste bud is telling me to add more sugar. And it depends too, if you don't like, you can add as, you can keep it as simple as possible based on what you like. I'll add a little more nutmeg. A little bit more cinnamon, just cause I think it needs more spice. I have all spice, I think I'm gonna add some all spice to it. So I have no allspice, so I'm gonna add a little bit of grown ginger, just a little bit. That looks more better. I like the look of that. You can see, I like, when I bake, I like to see spice. I like to smell the spice. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. That look like your Jamaican grandmother make it. That's good. All right, so now we're just gonna add it to our grease baking tin, right? And you can use butter or you can use oil. I like to use oil because oil don't burn. Butter burns, oil don't burn. So I'll start. Right, so our sheets nice and grease. Then we're gonna mixture. Look at that. See? Perfect. See, that's what you call a job well done. Look how beautiful that looks, right? That looks perfect. So now I'm gonna put it in my oven, 350, and I'm gonna check it in 45 minutes. But you get two vibe from the same. Produce two different type of vibe. But it's the same exact. All right. So as I said, if you like it like this, or you like it like this, same recipe, right? All we did is we added more water or more liquid to this guy, right? This guy is of a 
more softer consistency right but this guy is of a more dense consistency so if you cut into this guy right right look at it you cut into this guy and it's a little more dense right but as i said same recipe if you cut into this guy right see the difference it's of a more softer more sticky consistency same vibe crazy chef big vibe big big vibe like share subscribe jamaican sweet potato pudding